tech interviews. The mythical arena where logic, composure, and your entire career prospects get thrown into a blender and served with a side of, we'll get back to you. You walk in hopeful, maybe even excited, thinking it's going to be a fair conversation about your skills, and then, ten minutes later, you're wondering if this person is here to evaluate you, or just slowly break your will to live. Over the years, I've realized there are certain archetypes you'll meet over and over again, no matter the company, the role, or the salary range. And today, we're going to talk about the five worst offenders. But before we start, please like this video and subscribe to become a fellow codehead. All right, back to the video. If you've been in tech for more than five minutes, you've probably met at least one of them. Let's start with the silent stare. You know the one? You're halfway through explaining your solution, trying to walk through your thought process, and all you get in return is a deadpan expression so still you start to wonder if the video feed froze. No nods, no mm-hmm, no clarifying questions, just pure statue mode. The problem is, interviews are supposed to be collaborative. You're not just testing if I can code, you're testing if we can communicate and problem solve together. And yet, here I am, writing code in total silence, while this person stares at me like they're waiting for me to confess to a crime. It's not just awkward, it actively tanks confidence. You start doubting perfectly good solutions because you're getting zero signal back. Are they impressed? Are they bored? Are they asleep with their eyes open? We'll never know. Then there's the wrong answer guy. This one's special. He asks you a question, you give the right answer, and then he tells you you're wrong because his own understanding of the topic is outdated or flat out incorrect. The real fun begins when you try to explain yourself and they double down like the laws of computer science are just a matter of personal opinion. I once had someone tell me memoization wasn't a real concept. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, sorry buddy, the entire field of dynamic programming disagrees. But here's the danger. In a power imbalance situation like an interview, even if you know they're wrong, you're stuck between correcting them and looking difficult, or letting it slide and hoping it doesn't tank your score. Either way, you lose. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> now meet the time traveler. This interviewer lives in a world where it's still 1997 and the internet sounds like a dial-up modem. They pull out algorithm questions so ancient, you start wondering if they expect the solution in COBOL. You applied for a front-end role and suddenly you're being asked to implement Dijkstra's algorithm from scratch, in binary, on a whiteboard. And heaven forbid you mention using a library, oh no, that's cheating. Never mind that in the real world, you just NPM install your way out of that problem in 10 seconds. This type seems to think that proving you can manually rotate an AVL tree is the ultimate measure of whether you can build a scalable, maintainable app in 2025. Of course, sometimes the problem isn't that the interviewer is stuck in the past, it's that they barely learned the thing they're asking you about five minutes before the call. Enter the, I just googled this, type. You can practically see the chat GPT tab open on their second monitor. They toss out some buzzword soup like, explain the quantum entanglement of GraphQL schemas. Are you serious? And the moment you ask for clarification, they start fumbling. The worst part? They often get defensive when you probe deeper, because the moment you reveal they don't actually understand their own question, the whole facade cracks. And honestly, you're left wondering, if you're going to judge me on a topic, shouldn't you at least be able to talk about it beyond the headline? Finally, we have the, my company is Fang, trust me bro, interviewer. This one walks into the call radiating the smugness of someone who thinks their LinkedIn profile is a personality trait. They drop their big tech credentials every other sentence not to share useful insight, but to establish dominance. Well, when I was at Google, at Amazon, we, yeah, we get it, you've been places. The issue here is they spend so much time flexing about their own experience that you barely get to demonstrate yours and they carry this unspoken assumption that you should feel honored just to be in their presence, even if the role they're offering is, well, basically updating a CSS file in a product no one uses. And if you don't want to deal with people like that ever again, you'll need to crush your interviews. That's where Algo Monster, today's sponsor, 
comes in. It is the smartest way to prep for coding interviews built by engineers from Google, Meta, and all the other companies you're secretly trying to impress. Unlike other platforms that just throw leet code problems at you like dodgeballs, Algo Monster teaches you through patterns with a fully structured learning plan that actually makes sense. And their new practice section doesn't just help you grind, it mirrors real interviews so you're not caught off guard when the pressure hits. Plus, they've got flowcharts to help you pick the best algorithm for the problem at hand, templates that give you a ready-to-use structure for your solutions, and even speedrun features for when you're cramming like it's finals week. Head over to Algo Monster using the link in the description to get 20% off. Thank you for sitting through another dumb tech rant, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to become a fellow codehead.